Well, it's not uncommon for someone with Alzheimer's to go wandering sometimes. Well, today we're going to learn more about that and give you some safety tips. Joining us today, Mary Beth Tussell, and she is, of course, with the Alzheimer's Association, the program manager. And thanks for joining us today. Thank you. I mean, this is a problem. I mean, whatever time of year, it's not a good thing. But with winter coming up, I would think, you know, you really need to make sure you got a plan and know what's happening. So yes. let's start first with what are the signs? What, how do you know if your your loved one might be one of those people who likes to wander around? Around. Right, there's some, there are some warning signs that you can kind of watch for. You know, if all of a sudden your loved one who's been retired for 10 years says, I need to go to work, or they say, oh, I need to go home, but they're sitting on their couch, you know, it's kind of an indication that they're in a different time. So maybe, you know, kind of keep your eyes out for that. If they start talking about needing to be somewhere that they already are, you know, or that they don't go to anymore, that's a, that's a good sign. All right, so uh, how do you reduce risk then of them being able to, you know, get out, so to speak? <laughs> there's several ways. One way, you know, there's, there's some somewhat drastic measures, but some of the not so drastic would be, notice what time they say it. If it's eight o'clock in the morning and they're saying I need to go to work, maybe keep them diverted. If they say that I need to go to work, say, okay, let's make breakfast first, or let's go do this first. And then, you know, if they start saying they need to go home, you know, it's usually at five o'clock, stop them before it gets to be five o'clock and say let's go do this so they just kind of you know they don't think about it mm -hmm. so just kind of ways to to kind of divert them a little bit and then of course there's the you know alarms on the door there's pressure mats so that if they get out of bed you can hear it it trips an alarm or put gps tracking in their their shoes i okay. i know i talked to somebody who their um her mom had four different pairs of shoes and she had a tracker device in each one so that mm -hmm. if if she were to get out she was tracked right yeah because yeah. i you know my fear would be okay so during the day I can watch but what happens if you know you're sleeping at night and yep. you don't hear them all of a exactly. sudden exactly yeah. exactly and especially if it's you know 16 degrees outside right exactly okay so you mentioned some of the things what else can you do maybe at your home to make sure things are kind of good so yeah it's always a good idea to kind of have a plan in place of what are you gonna do if you're maybe they've never even wandered but it's still it's a good idea because there's always gonna be a first time mm -hmm. so maybe talk to your neighbors and say you know hey inform them that you know they have Alzheimer's or dementia you might see them out wandering about they might look confused they might be inappropriately dressed you know if you see them steer them to us or call me um, you know have a, an up-to-date picture of them because a lot of people don't you know and so if you you know you're looking around your house to find a picture if they are lost and you have one from 10 years ago it's not gonna help much so keep an up-to-date picture of them um, and kind of know kind of know some areas that they might likely go to like where do they used to work where's their favorite restaurant um, and one thing that's actually really interesting is whatever arm they're dominant in if they're right-handed they they tend to to follow that path so they'll make more right turns if they're left-handed they'll make more left turns so keep that in mind and know because they're usually found about a mile and a half from where they leave mm -hmm. so you know kind of keep that in mind and I assume time is of essence whenever you found out that they're wandered Call 911 and get things going, yep, right? Yeah, you could call right away or you could give it a couple minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and then call. Um, but if you do call, make sure you tell them that they have Alzheimer's, dementia, and then that way, you know, they'll 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 know how to how to treat them when they find them. Right, yeah. Some very good tips because uh, six out of ten, I guess, individuals yes. usually do. Wow. Yes. So it is something that you need to plan for. Well, thanks yep. for coming today and Thank raising you. this issue for us. Thank you. All right, don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.